Are you trying to put the dog to bed in your room again? It's not going to work. I told you it's not going to work. But you don't listen to me, do you? Boy, you're stubborn. It's, she's not going to do it. Do Neeb. Neeb. Well, don't get frustrated. Ow. Ow. Oh, she's just a puppy, Tommy. Rosie, you just do your own thing, don't you? You'll just do your own thing. Barry's room. She likes Barry. She oh, likes Barry more than you. <sighs> and there he is. That's Barry in the white. And Rosie likes Barry more than she likes Tommy. That's okay. So that's me, Ren. I'm 17. And that's Barry, my classmate. He's 17, too. And my big brother... Tommy is 19, and the three of us share this great big house. Well, the five of us, really. The little, the little Sheltie puppy is Rosie, and the little fox kit is named Lola. Lola belongs to Barry. We're not related to Barry. Uh, we've been friends for a while, though. Uh, Tommy and he were really good friends when ta back when Tommy was still in high school. Even though Barry's a couple years younger, they just got to be good friends. And Barry's having kind of a, a hard time with his dad now, and he doesn't have a place to live, so he's staying with us. And that's great. About me, well, my name's Ren Rowland. And I'm in high school. That's my brother there, Tommy Rowland. He's an, an entertainer. And we live in this big old house. We grew up here. Um, when my dad was 70 years old, he met my mom. And she was 30 years old. Fell in love, got married, had... My brother Tommy then had me, and then when I was 10, Mom ran off with the tennis pro at the country club. <laughs> they moved to another country. They're divorced, of course. Mom and Dad are divorced. Really didn't hear from Mom ever again. He just sort of disappeared. About a month ago, Dad, at the age of 90, he died. So we have some, we have some big changes. So we're going to leave this house. These are the neighbors. Come in, they heard, just heard about Dad's death. I guess this was a little while ago, really. If they come over now and then to see how we're doing, because Tommy's only 19, and to be in charge of this big house and and the funeral and everything, it's a big, big, big task. Money's not a problem, but we're just a bunch of kids, and we don't want to live in this big house. This town is kind of boring for us. So, we're going to move to Hemlock Hills and become famous. I'm going to be a famous actress. 
and Barry is a really good composer, and Tommy, he wants to have a rock band. So we're going to try our look. Try our luck in Hemlock Hills. So in the meantime, Barry and I need to graduate from high school. And this house is, we're emptying it out. Kind of sad. But we're clearing it out. And uh, we've got a, a real estate agent. And we've got um, people doing estate sales. We've had one so far. I think we're going to have other ones. But... So we're just kind of sorting out stuff and packing up stuff. And I'll find stuff in the attic. And I'll just had forgot I'd forgotten about. So I'll put it put it out for a while. Just enjoy it before we pack it up or give it away or whatever. And the real estate agent, he's setting up this, um, got this deal with this company that makes online 3D videos of their listings. So you can actually kind of walk around, virtually walk around inside, inside the house, like you're actually inside of it. And they have special cameras that they set up in these rooms. So the house is kind of cleared out, but, you know, we're keeping out what we still need. And sometimes new things will turn up because the rooms are being staged for the, the virtual tour. So everything's all kind of topsy-turvy. So Tommy's kind of hanging out with what's-her-name. I just can't. Mikey Haas or... Elke Haas, or some kind of a German name that I always forget. <laughs> but uh, she hasn't been living here very long. So some of this furniture we'll take, some of it we won't. We actually found these three, three old desks in storage, so we decided to pull them out and use them. Use them for a while. Um, this is really kind of part of the attic that we never <laughs> did very much with. But we got some old sofas that I don't know. We might they might end up at the flea market or the estate sale. I think we're going to keep the desk chairs. They're really nice. Too bad there's only. Three, four would have been better, but we'll make do. Bring Goya. Most fun toy. So there's Barry, and that's Lola the fox, and we we just found her one day in the woods, back in the woods behind the house, and couldn't find her mom right away. We did find her eventually. She looked like she got hit by a car. Uh, the way the way the baby was acting, we could tell that it was it was its mother. So, never had a fox before, but this poor little kid's an orphan, so we thought we'd see what we can do to help her. So we called up the Wildlife Federation and asked how to take care of a fox, and took her to the vet and everything, who handles exotic animals, and they were very helpful. So, we have a fox. <laughs> And a Sheltie. Bada bing, bada bing. Rosie is such a, so funny. She cracks me up. <coughs> <coughs> Rosie, you crack me up. Little weirdo, but boy, she's stubborn. So we kind of are using the attic kind of as a 
a living room place to hang out. I don't know. I guess we'll take most of these things with us if they don't sell. And the, the real estate agent said, you really need some curtains in this kitchen. It'll sell better. And so she provided these just for like staging purposes you know and they'll she'll take them back down once the house is sold so those are kind of on loan and they look kind of nice i like them it's such a such a weird kitchen but anyway oh well, look what barry did <laughs> He gave me a Valentine's Day present. Hmm. I, I don't know what to say about that. I'm not sure. I mean, I like Barry, but I never thought of him in that way before. But, I mean, I'm 17 now. I don't know. And He, he wants to come to Hemlock Hills with us. So he can be a successful composer, hopefully. I mean, that's where the opportunities are in Hemlock Hills for that type of thing. Not a lot of show business opportunities around here. So we're we're excited. I mean, but I don't know. I'm scared and I'm excited, but. It's still a ways off. I still have to, you know, we have to get this house settled and finish high school. <laughs> i got a couple more months before I finish high school. And I'll be an adult when we move. So uh, I'm not an adult now, so it's, it's not right away. So I guess Barry, what's Barry doing? Coming down. Probably to the kitchen. Yep. It's a really unusual old house. Sombo Frizna. Yeah? Chibni. Screws and Ray. Zarps. Ugh. Goofa. Huh. Yeah, he's been following me around. I think he kind of likes me. Oh, like, no. likes me. <laughs> On a loom keen. Oh, Sonara. Maybe he'll invite me to the prom. <laughs> I don't know, I just sort of feel sorry for him. Tommy won't tell me what happened with his dad, but it's pretty intense. Tommy said, there's just some intense stuff happened with his dad, and do you mind if he stays with us? I said, no, that's fine. Intense, what does that mean? Not good. Okay. Do you ever, like, get all the way upstairs and then forget why you went upstairs? What was I going to do? I forgot. Um, let me see. Uh, I did my homework. Uh, do I need something from downstairs or can I just go right to bed now? Um, uh, hmm. Hi, I forgot why I'm here. Oh, Bubine. Oh, we dava. Give the charge. Huh? Yaba thanks. Huh? 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 Yeah. Sure thing, Barry. Whatever you say. Oh, brother. Oh, 
Okay, so he wakes me up in the middle of the night to tell me weird jokes. In the middle of the night, he wakes me up. I was sound asleep and we have to go to school tomorrow. What's with you? Okay, something's messed up with his dad and he's just upset about that. His mom died a long time ago. I guess he's like, like a lonely little nerd. <laughs> No, that's me. I don't know. I don't know. This is just awkward. Could could you tell me this when I uh, uh, like during the day or something? I'm sort of sleep. This is like get the hint. I am in my pajamas, sitting on my bed, yawning. Hello. Huh. Good night. He is good at fixing stuff, which is nice. We we added that bathtub pretty recently, before Daddy died. I think that was one of the, night, the last things he bought. He loved it too. So. So it's nice to see somebody taking care of it. I like that bathroom. I'm going to miss it. It's pretty neat. So he said, you, I can't afford to pay rent or anything and Tommy just laughed and said what are you we're your you're you're our family now don't worry about it but he feels kind of guilty I think that's why he likes to try to fix stuff and you know be useful I think he's just kind of embarrassed that he has to be here instead of with his father who's just kind of a mess I guess I don't know. It's not really my business, I guess. Tommy knows what's going on, so I'll just stay out of it. So Lola's, I mean, yeah, Lola's just sort of stomping around, looking, pacing around. I don't know what, what her deal is, other than she really needs a bath. But I guess she was pretty dirty when she was living in the wild with her mom. I wonder what happened to her brothers and sisters. What you doing, brother? My rock star brother. Yeah, he had a feeling something was wrong with her, too. Probably just hungry. Probably wants attention. You gonna make her eat? What are you gonna do? See, your food's right there. There you go. I guess she wasn't sure if that was her dish or something. And looks like they're making friends. That's good. We haven't had Rosie very long. 
thought we needed something to cheer up this place. Night, Tommy. Good night, Barry. Good night to you. Thank you.